Well, joining me here at uh, MTTV is Gregor Riok, who is, many people know you, you have been a professional footballer, you, I think you called yourself a bit of a, you went around a few different bit places, a bit, bit of a journeyman like that. But, da -da, Wigan Athletic is where we're talking about today, because you are now uh, coaching, you're also looking for talent, and we're going to come to the Manx connection in a moment, but you're over here, you're going to be running a coaching uh, event here. Yes, well, tomorrow evening we're going to be uh, running a coaching event, myself and Alex Gibson. I'm the academy manager at Wigan Athletic and I've brought our head of coach development, Alex Gibson, with me, who's got many years of experience working with the FA and Manchester City. And I have been working with me at Wigan Athletic as well. So it's on Tuesday, and where's it being held? It's going to be held at Union Mills, 6 o'clock until 9 o'clock. So anyone that likes the idea of getting into coaching is, is welcome to come along? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's something that we can do whilst we're over here, myself and Alex, and, and give a little bit back to the community and give a bit back to the coaches. And who wants to be a coach? <laughs> is it ex-footballers or is it somebody completely separated from that sort of side of it? Yeah, I think it's uh, now it's become more diverse where, where a lot of people who are interested in the game could get involved in, in the game and involved in coaching. Um, it's, uh, it's great to see people from different backgrounds and different walks of life. And I think for people who have a hobby, it will be ideal for those, ideal for people who are serious about uh, football, serious about coaching, and also, as I say, that have it as a hobby. And you have a good time at Wigan? Have a great time at Wigan. Um, I'm, uh, Wigan Athletic are actually over in the Isle of Man this week. Uh, the community scheme are over, um, delivering soccer schools for uh, the community for kids uh, early part of this week. So it coincides really well with, with another side of our football club. OK, let's get to the Manx connection, because this is great news. St George's, this, this guy, who's, he's, he's still about 16, isn't he? That's Shall right. Take it yeah. away? Well, we've, we've signed Adam Long on a scholarship for uh, the next two years. So when he leaves school in the summer, uh, he'll join us as a full-time apprentice, a uh, full-time player, and uh, he'll be working towards a professional contract over the next two years. Because he's, he's a St George's player, and they are you know, pretty well number one team, but he hasn't done uh, all his time there, has he, of course? No, well, the background that we know, learning from him, his family and Dicko, is that he's had a, a real good upbringing from Union Mills. So... I think that early ups, uh, upbringing in his early stages of his football development have been key as far as where he's now developed onto before he's moved on to St George's. And how did he get spotted? Well, great. the great thing is, is that uh, I mentioned Alex Gibson before, he's got a connection with Lee Dixon, who, who is obviously runs a team over here and uh, is a big, big part of the football over in the Isle of Man. And, uh, so we know as Dicko. Yeah, <laughs> known as Dicko, that's Dicko. right. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Dicko gave Alex himself a call uh, a few months ago and said, look, I think I've got a, a young lad that is well worth having a look at. He's been developing nicely and progressing well. And uh, young Adam has come across and he's been a revelation with us. And uh, I think it's great for him to come into the group that he's come into because... We've got an under-16s group that is, is quite special at, at Wigan Athletic. We've uh, had some terrific performances and results against the likes of Manchester City, Manchester United, where we've, we've beaten both uh, clubs most recently. Uh, actually, Adam played in the one against Manchester City. And you think about the, the talent pool that they've got to be, be able to bring in. Um, he's coming into a very good group and he improves the group as well. So we're, we're really pleased with him. Wow. And you never know where this goes. I mean, you know... There is the potential. Well, that's right. Well, I think the good thing what we what we look for in, in young players is 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 attitude and behaviour, and whether they've got the desire to work hard. And he's been brought up well. He's got a good family. He's been brought up well with Dicko. Uh, he understands the game, and he's been playing men's football, where a lot of our lads have been playing uh, schoolboy football. So he's been pushed up in on the island as playing men's football. So it'll it'll serve him well. He's had a good background, a good upbringing, and from my perspective, coming over to the Isle of Man, I'll get to learn a little bit about his upbringing and his culture of, of what he's been through over the last few years. And who knows, you may find others that are just here as well. But anyway, Dicko's number, 482423, if you want to ring that number for getting on the coaching on Tuesday night. And, uh, well, fantastic, and uh, we wish you well. Have a lovely trip, and who knows? Thank you very much. Do you want to see my foot? No, you don't. No. <laughs>